ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾ ದೇವಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದೇವಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಶೇಖವಾತ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಮೀರಾ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಗುರುಶರಣ್ ಕೌರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಮಲಾ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತೀರ್ಥ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಿ ಕೆ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಈಶ್ವರ್ ಜಾ ಜಲ್ವಾಲಿಯಾ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಸೋನಾ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರಿನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಸ್ಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ on this occasion when i am receiving the first copy of the book authored by professor shunay nishing titled the first two women president of india reinventing a leadership pratibha devi singh party pratibha ji was my immediate predecessor in this august office and that makes this occasion more important and special prithiba ji had a very distinguished political and social activist career from the early days of her life perhaps in her time she was the youngest legislator in maharashtra getting herself elected in 1962 just passing the minimum qualifying age to be a member of the state legislature and she had this distinction i had the privilege of working with her in various capacities when she worked as minister at maharashtra when she was leading the state unit of the international congress at a very momentous time and she had to face a large number of odds in building up the organization in that state at that particular point of time i had also had the privilege of witnessing how she conducted the business of the upper house of indian parliament raj sabha as the then deputy chairperson and for the last 5 years i had the privilege of not only watching how gracefully in a dignified manner she discharged her responsibilities as the protector of the indian constitution as first woman president of the indian republic the section of agrarian advancement attempts to delineate her initiative towards agriculture and allied issues this section reflections provides shrimati prathiba patil's insights and reflections on some of the prominent issues of the country particularly education and prabashi she believed that education is the real game changer and is it is only through universal education that india could sustain high levels of growth over very significant group that had not been accorded representation until recently is the pravasi our overseas indians who could be equal partners in the growth story of india in keeping with this emphasis shrimati pratibha patil undertook trips to 24 countries 
during her tenure as president. Her visits to these countries yielded dividends by way of promoting goodwill and encouraging greater bilateral and multilateral engagements across the different sectors. Srimati Prathiba Patil, from the very beginning of her political career, has been a champion against evils that have periodically shaken the fabric of Indian society. She has expressed concern that India cannot fully grow and its democratic ethos cannot find full realization unless India drives out social evils from its domains. Her continued opposition to social evils like ragging, female, female fratricide, female infanticide, child marriages, dowry, alcoholism is recorded in the sixth chapter, Social Milu, Issues and Concerns. It attempts to make a critical inquiry into Srimuthi Prathiva Patil's initiatives towards eliminating the social menaces from Indian society. I would conclude once again by congratulating the author, Professor Sunayana Singh, for brilliantly capturing the essential contours of Srimuthi Pratibha Devi Singh's legacy. I am sure that this book shall in course of time become a source of knowledge and inspiration to followers of Indian polity and public life. Once again, I take this opportunity of expressing my deep appreciation to you, Madam, and Dr. Sekhwat for being physically present amidst us on this occasion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>